Hello, my name is Tom Stiles, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show number 19-something. I don't know. Anyway, I hope you're all having a, a great holiday, and do have a great holiday. Great Christmas. Happy New Year. And I definitely am, because one of my subscribers gave me an early Christmas present. And, of course, I couldn't wait to open it, so I opened it, and it's right here. Here it is. The Sajin ATS-909X. There it is. I've been wanting one of these for years. This is not a brand new radio. It's been out for a while. But it is a very unique shortwave radio. AM, FM, long wave shortwave radio. And I'm going to tell you a little bit about mine today. I, I got it about three days ago, two days ago. So I'm still learning how to use it. But I'll tell you about some of the overall features. And then I'll have some other videos that show me actually using it and learning how to use it. So the first thing that caught my eye when this was advertised was the display. It's got a huge display. And let me just turn the radio on here. And the way it's backlit, it is, uh, it, it, I, I really, really like this display. Some of the displays on some of the smaller portable radios, I have to kind of squint to read. This one, no problem whatsoever. So that's the first thing I like. Uh, it's a heavy radio. Even before I put batteries on it, it's pretty heavy. So it's pretty stout. I think a lot of the weight is the speaker here, which has terrific sound. I think that's part of the weight. And um, it has, it comes with preset stations. Stations already put in the memories. Matter of fact, 409 preset memories. Now, granted, some of these stations, um, when this radio came out, were popular. Not so much now. As a matter of fact, some have gone off the air. But it gets you a starting point. So you can turn on radio, and you can go through those memory locations and start listening to shortwave radio. So that's that's one thing nice about it. And I can say it, it has um, a huge amount of storage. Now, you can, you can overwrite those presets. They're not permanent. So you can overwrite those, put in your own stations. The other thing's nice about it. And uh, right now I'm pointing to USA uh, page it has that you can put in an alphanumeric to tell you what that station is. And the, the way the memory is set up, it's set up in pages for shortwave, which is what we're interested in mainly. You can have, you have up to 39 pages and each of the pages has nine memory locations. So that's a lot of memory storage. So that's that's the deal on the memory. And there are three or four methods of tuning. You can um, have stuff in memory and just select a memory location, and it goes to that frequency. And if you have it like on um, upper sideband or lower sideband, it remembers that too. That's one way. You can manually tune it. And this radio has a very unique way of manually tuning and that is this thumb wheel right here just turn it like that that's how you manual tune another way you can manual tune is using these two buttons here to go up and down in frequency you can also punch in to this keypad the frequency so you got a lot of options for tuning this radio uh, let's just go over, just go around the radio. On this side, this is a big volume knob that is fairly stiff, so it's not easy to kick the volume up or down, so it's fairly stiff. Uh, down here, we have, uh, the timer setting, so you can set the timer to come on. And I haven't used that at all. And then down here is your filters. They call it tone. I'm probably speaking too loud in the mic because I'm bending over. Uh, for news, normal, and music. So basically wide, medium, and narrow band. 
And then down here, you have um, your setting for stereo or mono. And uh, you, oh, this also is a setting if you're in the AM band for wide and narrow. So you got not only this filter button up here, but you have the wide and narrow down here. So let's go to the other side. And we have a whole bunch of inputs and outputs. We have at the top, this is for an antenna, external antenna connection. The next one down is for auxiliary in. You want to use the amplifier and the speaker of this radio for your, say, your iPod or something. You can do that. Um, it has controls for your recorder. Now, again, this is a, a fairly older, not real, but older um, radio that that's when you had external uh, push button and whatever tape recorders that you record on. And it has a line out. And uh, nowadays, what you use the line out for is to go to your uh, computer so you can record on your computer or you can, if you're listening to some digital signals, you can decode those digital signals. And then down the bottom, it has a headphones jack. And this is your power jack. It comes with an AC adapter. It comes with an AC adapter, headphones, a carrying case, and one of those real antennas, or EEL antennas, about 20 foot long. And then down here, it has an RF gain wheel right here. So you can adjust the RF gain manual. So on the back, I'll flop it over here. On the back, you have the stand. And on the stand, you have a, uh, a time zone map showing uh, the major cities and what time zone they're in. And then your battery compartment down here. It takes uh, either just alkaline batteries or rechargeable batteries. And then if you have rechargeable batteries, there's a switch inside here that you switch it for rechargeable jet batteries, and then the AC adapter will charge those batteries for you. So that's what's on the back. On the top, it has um, a button for setting your clock, and uh, it, has, it has two clocks that you can bring up, one for world time and one for your home time. And then it has a button that looks like a light button, but there's a light button down here. So I'm not sure what that's for. I'll have to look into what that middle button is right there. Sir, I'm sure some of you out there know what that is. And uh, what else? Oh, the buttons here, you got your band selection, FM, long wave, medium wave, and short wave. And this has ATS, automatic tuning storage capability. It also has RDS which is for FM radio, will display up here information coming from the FM station about what the station call is, what music is playing. So it does have that feature too. So it has RDS. This is only the second radio I've had that has RDS. Then it has um, three timers. It has single sideband button here to put on single sideband. Uh, a button for F, meaning frequency, so you can tune this manually. Memory button. Um, some other buttons for doing all kinds of things. Oh, um, for selecting the meter bands, for jumping around on the meter bands. It, it just, you know, this thing is just full of features that I'll go into in more detail later. And it's got a squelch button if you want to use the squelch control. I don't usually use squelch control on shortwave. And this is the light button that if you're on batteries, you push that button to get the backlight to come on, and it only stays on for like 10 seconds. When you're on the AC adapter, the backlight is on all the time. That's why it's on now. And then, of course, it has a telescopic antenna, pretty long telescopic antenna. This is not chrome-plated. It's brushed metal. And as I'm always saying, you know, want to be careful not to break that when you're extending it. Okay, well, let's go to, uh, now that I've babbled, 
Let's go to the report card, which I can't get on the screen. Yeah, I got most of it. So the first thing I usually check out is the look and feel of the radio. And this definitely has good looks. It's a good looking radio. And it feels good. You know, the controls feel good. Uh, the tuning knob, you know, feels good. So I would give it an A on look and feel. I, I really don't see anything initially that I don't like about the radio as far as look and feel. So I'm going to give it an A. Uh, readability, oh, that's, that's definitely an A. I mean, this display is beautiful. I love this display. I wish I had it on my 750 back there. Although the 750 display is good, but this back, I love this backlight. Okay, we're going to give the A for reliability. Power options, I can say you got the AC adapter, you got either alkaline batteries or rechargeable batteries. So that would give that an A. I don't know why you would give it anything but an A. Uh, tuning. I've, I've done a considerable tuning. I, not a lot, but I've done considerable tuning. It's very, very easy to tune. This tuning wheel is very accurate. Um, so I would give it an A. I, I'm really being generous. I'd give it A's everywhere. An A. Audio quality. Audio quality is excellent, especially on FM. This really sounds good on FM, even though it only has a single speaker, so you don't get stereo. But it does have the headphone jack, so you can get stereo out of the radio. So I'll give that an A. Special features. Like I said, this is loaded with so many features that <laughs> I might edit, I might not even get to them all in my review. So I'm going to give it an A because there's so many features. And then the, the last thing I test on or I grade on is reception. And I'll do that in a future show. So I, I can't believe it. This radio got all A's so far. All A's. So, and that's the reason I wanted to get one. I mean, when I was reading about it, you know, I, everything looked good about it. Everybody liked it. Um, I think some people didn't like this concept of tuning with this thing here. This is similar to one of my Sony radios, my Sony Shortwave radios has this tuning. So I'm used to it. So it's fine with me. So anything else? Um, like I said, it does have ATS. has three alarms. And it is single sideband. And I think that's kind of in a nutshell. Kind of gives you an overview of the radio. Like I say, I'll be doing some more um, videos of the features and how you use them. And then, of course, to give it its final grade, I'll have to do a reception test. And uh, we'll go from there. So everybody have a great holiday. Um, and um, be safe. Be safe. If you didn't get it on this deal, I'm sorry. Boy, this was a fantastic deal that Amazon had. And uh, it, unfortunately, the price has gone back up. So that's the show for today. If you enjoyed this show, please give me a thumbs up. If you have a comment, if you got one of these radios and there's something you like or dislike about the radio, please let all of us know. You know, I, this is my first, um, ex, my first exposure to this radio. So I'm new, you know, and maybe I'm grading it too, too good. Maybe it doesn't really deserve all A's. Just let me know. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.